Europa. Now, on uh, the other side, and I will just move over our spectrum display here, um, I've got some other goodies. So I have my subtractor. So we're going to start with the filter open, resonance off, and let's um, we'll start with the low pass 12. Here we go. I'll bring down the cutoff. Nice and gentle and natural. Let's do the same thing with the low pass 24. Definitely has a, like a steeper cutoff. Now let's add some resonance. And again, we're not we're not really losing our low end when we do that. So this is a little different from the ladder filter design. All right, so we have two options there. We have a band pass. And we have a high pass. And finally, a notch. You can see the notch way up here. And as I bring it down. You can hear it affecting the other frequencies. So this combination of low pass 12, low pass 24, band pass 12, high pass 12, and notch filter is used on a lot of reason devices. Um, it's pretty much the same filter from device to device, certainly on the older devices. But even a newer um, synth like Grain uses something very similar. So I'm going to play for you now some Maelstrom. Here we go. Now this is this filter is a little different. It's a low pass twelve, but it's really got some cool resonance. And there's a band pass mode. You know, it's worth just taking a moment to put in a good word for bandpass. You know, oftentimes when I'm mixing a synth-based record, I'm going to cut the low end. So uh, the fact that you're not getting those lows may not matter in your final mix. And the other thing is it really kind of focuses that sound and makes it really kind of nasally and that can really cut through a mix. So I really like how this sounds. And of course you can widen or narrow it. For interesting results. Now this also has a comb plus and minus. So here's just the regular positive comb. Nice, sweet, flangey kind of sound. Here's the minus. A little more bass cut with that. And then add some resonance. This gets really hollow. And on the plus, a little more brassy. Now the other filter here is something called AM. And in this case, your frequency knob is not cut off. It's actually controlling the pitch of an oscillator. And we're gonna use that oscillator to control the sawtooth wave. So let me bring up Thank you. 
kind of cool. Now you can turn the keyboard off. Get really weird. All right, sorry. Um, so some fun with the amplitude modulator and uh, Maelstrom has two identical filters like this. Um, let me move on to the NNXT. I'm sorry, the NN19. And this has a very similar filter to what we saw with the subtractor, right? With the notch, high pass 12, band pass 12, low pass 12, and the low pass 24. So let's give that a little listen. Very nice natural sounding filter at the 12, a little steeper for the 24. Give it a little filter envelope. That's the 24. Here's the 12. Here's the band pass 12. And the high pass. And the notch. Notch doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot for me here. hear it a little all right so there's a little of that hey we could play them all i guess all right so there's a little tour of some filters in um reason the NNXT, which I did not show you, has that very same filter as the subtractor. And grain, as I mentioned, also has that same filter uh, without the notch option, but um, pretty much otherwise identical. So quite a bun bunch of filtering possibilities. And um, hopefully you enjoyed that tour.